Right, now we're here on the passenger side of the unit. There's not as much stuff as there is on the driver's side of the unit, so it's pretty simple. Um, right down here, just the same as your other water fill connections, this is going to be your Sani flush. So on a regular travel trailer, you'll have like a regular hose nozzle to fill into, and that'll shoot water into your black tank to help clean it out. That's what this is. Instead of having a shower head, it just directly fills up your black tank so you can keep it flowing, keep the water in there, and keep it nice and hydrated so that way when you're ready to flush it, uh, there's no problems like that. So, um, as we move down the unit a little bit more, you have an outdoor kitchen table. So this is just a little flop down table. I would go over the keys and what unlocks it in the key section. Um, and then right next to the table, you have a 110 outlet, and you also have a 12 volt car plug. So. If you want to set up some stuff outside, you got a little TV, if you've got some more tenant, you need a 12 volt, you got 12 volt out here too. As we move down the unit more, um, I'll go over the step and uh, other stuff on another, on another part of this. Um, you have your solar sensor wall light. It's just as, exactly what it says it is. You put your hand over it or it sees darkness, it's gonna turn on. You can of course turn that off so it'll be off and it won't actually work, but keep it on and the nighttime, the light will turn on so you kind of have an entry light. Uh, as we move down into our compartments, right here you have your pass-through compartment, right? So that's going to go back to that other part where we saw our 110 side on the other side. So this is your pass-through. You got tons of space, tons of storage. Uh, as far as your other compartment, this is going to be your outdoor kitchen. So you have these two blue knobs right here. You have to press both of them down in order for the table to come out. The table is going to come out pretty dang far. We got a flop out table. I don't know if we'll have enough room to use it. Oh, we do. All right. Super nice. Love these things. They're awesome. But they're not hooked up. So you have to hook them up yourself. So I'll go ahead and show you that. You got your stove top right here. You got your sink over there. If you open up this little compartment right here, you can see underneath here, you got your drain for your sink. It's just a nice little hose, like if you're at like a fishing station, right? So. Um, and then right behind it, you also have a propane line that they want you to pull out. Just pull out through this little compartment, this little underneath section. And then if you move the camera right around to here, you're going to see that you have a quick propane hookup and you have a quick water connection. Perfect, perfect. So you're going to see the propane hookup. And wait until that clips. And then you got your water spout connection, just sits in the sink right there. I always plug it into the actual sink first, that way you don't spray water in your face. And then you come down underneath here and hook that up to your water section and now you got propane and water to your outdoor kitchen. Go ahead and leave that out. I don't know if my pumps are on. I'll go ahead and test it out in a little bit and we'll show you how it all works.